Hey, it's the Terminian Hero. And if any of you complain about how much I, you know, talk about how the video's doing and how much it's lagging, you you just saw yeah, that last. I can't talk. You just saw that last video. Now you know why I'm so paranoid about it. I'm I'm keeping that video though. I'm I'm not redoing that. But well, you know I'm keeping it because you already watched it. Anyways, hopefully this video won't lag like that. Um, to get to the ice beam here, I'd like to show how to... I didn't want to get out of my morph ball. Darn it. Getting into the ice beam here is pretty tricky. You gotta get in there somewhere. And, you know, I already have the ice beam, as you see, as you know, so there's really no reason for me to go get this. I'm just showing you another way you can get it. Ah! When did I waste a missile? I have 29. But, yeah, that's another way to get to the ice beam. So now, I'm gonna go back out to Brinstar, so that's fine that I died, because it's like, nice shortcut back. But anyways, we got those missile tanks. I always forget that I have to press the button when it shows that password. I'm like, kind of expecting it to go off on its own, because, you know... I've had to press buttons to get it to that part, you know, I've already been able to see the password. And then I have to press it again, even though I've been able to see the password. But anyways, enough rambling about that. We're back in Brinstar to get the two things we missed. You know, I was gonna leave that energy tank for later so that I could just get a quick refill before the final boss, but chances are I'm gonna die in the final area. Which means that, you know, I'll just have to refill without the energy tank anyways. Oh my gosh. Will it bring me back to... Where will this bring me back to? Alright, it brought me back here. That's... that's not bad. I can get the energy tank while I'm going through here, and there's also something else I would like to show you. That those of you that don't really know about this first game, you know, might not know about. Of course, every Metroid game on planet Zebus has this, so if you've played or seen a playthrough of Metroid, Super Metroid, or Metroid Zero Mission, I mean, you'll kind of know that something, you kind of know that something like this would be here. Oh, just noting another way you can get this. Whoa. I can't get up there. Maybe I'll have to do it this way. Um... Can we get that Sheik Bat back, please? Um... Please? They come back when I go back here. I'll just leave and come back, I guess. Oh, the 
attack. Okay, I've got another plan. But it might take a while, and that's kind of annoying. I'm gonna get this guy to climb around. What you wanna do is you wanna have the high jump, you wanna freeze an enemy, and high jump onto him, and then jump off of him. There we go. That energy tank should be very helpful, you know, if we can keep it filled. Which isn't gonna happen. Oh my gosh. Out of here. Can actually reach that now. Woohoo! Anyways. Let's head on up to that door. You really don't have to worry about making jumps a lot of times once you have the high jump. I mean, you still have to make them, but it's a lot easier. Oh, before I go there, I almost forgot to show you where we'll be going when we're ready to finish the game. That door is where we got our long beam, but if we keep climbing... And we keep climbing... And then we miss our jump, even though... Actually, we... Yeah, that, that was my fault, actually. It wasn't the high jump's fault. Missed a jump with the high jump. That's pretty bad after just talking about that. Um, so many enemies! Oh, I accidentally switched to the missiles. Okay. Anyways, through here. Let's see. This is a statue of the first boss. And that's a statue of the second boss. And there's only three bosses in this game. The third one being through here at the end. And once you beat both of these first two bosses, a bridge will be created to get across to here. Now, if you're good with some tricks, you can get an enemy into that room and then, like, freeze them in the hole and use them to get over without beating the bosses first, but we're not gonna do that. Go back through this gauntlet. <laughs> Who knew Brinstar could be so dangerous? I mean, sure, it kicked my butt plenty of times, but that's because I suck at this game. <laughs> and yeah, I seem to get through that gauntlet, no problem. Hmm. Am I getting better? Could be. Either that or I'm just getting lucky. more climbing, that's pretty much what Brinstar is in this game. 
I mean, sure, there's a lot of places like this, but... I mean, that's what a lot of the first Metroid is. A bunch of climbing. I mean, I don't know, it's more famous for the climbing in Brinstar, but... I mean, especially that first shaft. Oh, did I, like, get a missile there? Alright, come on, get the blocks back. Thank you. Come on. It's one of those. That's pretty cheap. I can't destroy that. Another one? Okay. <laughs> now that that's done... That was pretty annoying. And I mean, how do they expect you to find this stuff anyways? I mean, that's just how old games are. They hide things and like... The places you'd least ex you'd least expect, and they'll give you no hints on how to find them. Like nowadays, they always give you a hint, like there's a crack in this block, or in this wall, or whatever. I mean, on the Metroid Prime games, you can always scan everything. Always give you a good idea of what you have to do with each object to break it or get past it. And don't go in here with me. I don't think they hurt me. Anyways, this is a very good power up. Got the Varia suit. In other games, it it makes it so. Um, it makes it so you can withstand high temperatures, and in one of the games, I think it helped you withstand low temperatures, too. I'm not sure about that. But, also, I believe it makes it so you can't get hurt by the acid in this area. You can still get hurt by lava, but not the acid. I mean, or at least that's how it is on some of the games. I'm not sure if that's how it is on this game. Can I get down? But another thing it does is it, like, increases your defense by a lot. Like, I think where... Like, I think enemies do half the damage to us now as they did before. Oh gosh, that still does hurt you. Okay, never mind about that. I don't really care too much about getting hurt now, because, you know, I'm just going back to Norfair, and then I'm, like, probably just gonna die on purpose to get my password, because I'm done for now. Actually, if I can't get back to Norfair by the time this video ends, I'll just... You already know the way there. You've already seen me play through it, so... If I can't make it there by the time the video ends... Was that a glitched tile up there? But yeah, I'll just start there next time. I didn't have to get rid of my energy tanks to take a break, though. Ah. Yeah, I'm about out of time, so I think this is the door there. See you guys next time. Bye.